Okay, so we got a cool video we got here. We got, I'm gonna show you an update of some eggs that hatched that nobody got to see the video because I didn't have a chance. We got some really cool black and white, cool anatheristic uh, ball pythons. And then we got killer ball python here to pull a couple eggs. But don't forget, here we go. You ready? You guys ready? You ready on IGTV? Okay, you guys, so we got some cool stuff. We got a bunch of babies hatching, but they're really cool bat babies. They have like almost no color. And then we got these cool ones, but not only that, we got a visitor, Sagan, where you at? Oh, Sagan the star. So Sagan likes snakes. He likes looking at them, checking them out. Little snakes are like, what the heck's that big dog looking thing? But they don't mind. But check this out, update video, a pied Sagan. I didn't say I want you to sniff everyone. So anyway, that's a pied. It's really beautiful and it's called a banana pied. And these are regular pieds. They're very, very beautiful. And uh, they're actually leopard, leopard, leopard pieds. Uh, but very beautiful snake, but here's some cool stuff. So we got some babies hatching. And these babies, you gonna check them out, Sagan? Huh, you really enter. Sagan loves animals and uh, thinks they're pretty cool. What do you think, Sagan? Is that cool? Sagan, of course, is my grand dog because my granddaughter didn't give me a baby. Now, all these snakes are ready to come out. Laura, come in here nice and tight. I want you to see the color of these. They're black and white. And these snakes are all ready to come out. They actually cut. They cut the other day when I was out of town and one of my guys cut the eggs open and, and so they're really ready to come out. So I wanted to share them with you. So Sagan, why don't you come down here for you don't make everybody have to listen to you breathe the whole way through the show. So here we look at that. So this is a this is actually a bumblebee and uh, it's actually an anatheristic is what you call it. And it's really beautiful snake. And what do you guys think? Is that beautiful or what? That is I, just absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think? Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Very beautiful. And so these snakes, these snakes had so much no, these had, they had such poor color as in they're almost like black and white. I had to go buy some color so you guys could see them against some color. Cause I didn't want you to think I was like uh, making a funny video at it. I wanted to show you the real thing. So look at that, another one. So there's another bee and uh, another gorgeous snake. They're all seem to be completely ready to come out. So I'm just helping them out here. Now this one's not, this one does not have pastel in it, but still look at that, even more black and white. Unbelievably black and white. So I'm gonna actually, in this video, I'm gonna take a mom off of a couple eggs and explain why she only had one, she only has two good and two bad. So there we go, so look at another. Now this one's a bumble, this one's just a bumblebee, not a bumblebee, but a, uh, a regular, it looks like a regular, no pastel in it. But it's, a, but it's still a spider and it's still anatheristic. They're all anatheristics because the mom and dad were both anatheristics. So look at that, these snakes have like no color. And, uh, but, they, but they have color now because we got them some bedding so they can look all fancy on them. So let's see here. So I'm gonna show you, so let me show you something I found, notice this. We're all into patterns lately, right? Look, this one here, you see this one here has, right? This one's glad to see all you guys and appreciates all the follows and all the shares. See, he's smiling. So <laughs> now those, like I said, hatched last week and I'm gonna grab this female with the babies, but I wanna pull these out real quick, finish pulling them out. Wow, we got a really high ratio and they're really, they're really nice, healthy babies. So spider ball pythons can actually have wobbly heads. And, but the good news is none of mine seem to have any wobble at all. I don't have any breeding stock that has any wobble. So what people don't tell you about them is that they're not all that way. Matter of fact, I think very few are that way because in the last 10 or 20 years that I've had spiders, I've only seen two or three that wobble. And uh, of course you can surf the internet and find some crazy ones that wobble. Insane, look at that. So there's beautiful black and white, no pastel in it, but absolutely gorgeous. And uh, look, at the look at the lack of the color. And so, like I said, I got that cool gravel in the bottom. And look how many there are. Just a beautiful clutch. And uh, we, I get a lot of questions like, what do we do with the baby? So these, so these snakes are all captive born like your dog or your cat. And they've been in captivity for a long, long, long time. And so like this one might be 10, 15 generations captive born. So it doesn't even know the wild. Kind of like Sagan, huh Sagan, huh? Yeah, Sagan the pup here. He hasn't been in the wild yet lately either, huh? Yeah, but you still wonder what snakes are, don't you? So there's the last one, and let's go see. Now I'm going to show you show you what a snake can act like 
that still has it in the second, you're gonna have to get down. Come on, get down. I called you up, but you're all good. So this girl is still defensive because she still has a couple eggs here. Now, the couple eggs are gonna go in a container, which see if she hasn't grabbed yet. But you can see she's very protective of her clutch because those are still her babies. I mean, this is what she's, she's convinced that I'm like a wild animal. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this clutch. Hey, 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 hey. So you can see she bit me right in the end of my finger. And uh, ooh. so like we were just talking about spiders not having a problem. This is spider. And look how good and accurate she is at everything. She's capable of getting me perfectly perfect. And uh, whoa, nope, you're gonna stay in the tub. On my last video, snake got out and everybody thought we didn't know it. And uh, so I'm gonna pull this female. I'm gonna take these couple eggs. I'm gonna set them aside and we're gonna hatch them. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prevent myself from getting bit. But there we go. So there she is. She Now she only had two fertile eggs and two infertile eggs because the male we had wasn't doing very good. So we separated them because we didn't want to stress him out. And uh, he all he thought about was her and he wouldn't eat and do anything. So we took the, the male out, figured she would probably not breed, but she ended up laying eggs anyway off of retained sperm. And so we got two good and two bad. So hopefully we'll get a couple really cool babies. But meanwhile, I'm hoping you guys had a good time and checking out some cool animals. And you know what? We're going to spend some time in the zoo and let these kids check them out a little bit closer. And hope you guys are, take some time and share it with your friends. And I hope you have an awesome day and a great week. And keep living your dream. So, hey, Sagan, did you say goodbye? Sagan, come on up. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> so, anyway, Sagan's having a good time. I hope you guys did. Take care.